I like it just for the fact that it is different. Um, you know, like if another WCW came around, or you know, it's, it'll get it'll get kind of boring. So, like with Lucha Underground, I think because it's different and it's so unique that, like you mentioned, you know, there are characters being killed off that it's just you know nobody's expecting that, and I think it's something something cool and something different, and and it's definitely a shot in the arm that uh, people are looking for. <clears throat> now, obviously, you know, right now they're, they're doing season three. It's, you know, kind of they just had the mid-season debut, and it's kind of keep going. But what is your current status with Lucha Underground? Um, I'm still contra- um, under contract with them, um, and uh, hopefully we'll be filming season four sometime soon. Uh, they haven't given us the date yet, but hopefully uh, we film because you know like the, the fans want it, um, the people want it, the uh, the quote unquote internet wrestling community want it, and you know I feel like we should definitely give it to them. Now I don't know if you're allowed to say. Are, are you signed up for a couple more seasons, or, or you know how long are you going to be with Lucha Underground? Um, I, I signed for the long term. Uh, season, so hopefully you'll be seeing uh, more of myself and my character around. Yeah. Kicking butt and taking names. That's such a cool uh, character and so different. Matanza Cueto, a.k.a. you know, the monster. What did you kind of originally think with the creation of that character? Did you put any input into it, or you know, kind of what did you feel when that character was presented to you? <clears throat> Uh, originally, um, I was supposed to do a different character, like a shooter type gimmick. Um, I wasn't, um, I didn't really fully grasp, uh, when they approached me with this character and I was like, oh man, I gotta be under a mask and blah, blah, blah. And, but, you know, I just figured, you know, it, yeah, I can show my range and try something new and see what happens with it. And, and like I said, I didn't really grasp or comprehend what my character would be or what he meant to the, uh, the Lucha Underground universe and the storyline concept of it. But, you know, I'm very happy that I, I was given the opportunity to be this character and very, very, very happy with what the character has become and, and whatnot. And the only really, uh, opinions I gave was for the, uh, the costume, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much all the only opinions I have with that because I, I trust fully in uh, Krista Joseph's uh, vision, and so I, just, I put my full trust in Chris. It's definitely different. It's definitely cool. I really like the character. Like you said, the uh, the outfit is cool too. But were you comfortable at first in the mask? Have you ever worn a mask before? Um, I wore a mask one time for one match when uh, a guy no showed an event in Hawaii, and I filled in for him because you know we needed another guy. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? It, that was rough. And then wearing a mask, quote unquote, full time now, it's uh, it took a lot of getting used to, and especially those uh, months where we're filming when it, the heat in there is at all time high. The temperature in Los Angeles alone is is at an all time high. Um, it can get pretty hot in that little in that thing, and there's no room for air. So it, it's it's very challenging at times. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to suck it up and and keep pushing forward. Now it kind of you know fits in with obviously the Luke Underground and the Luke Libre style and, and the mask. So it does fit into the you know the culture and, and the gimmick fits in with the Lucha Underground world. But with that character, did you kind of think when you originally saw it, were you kind of thinking that it was going to be successful? Or you were kind of seeing, uh, let's see how it plays out. Um, I was more for at first. I was uh, we'll see where this plays out. But when you know, like a bunch of guys in the office were telling me how big of a character this is, you know, like I said, I didn't. I didn't comprehend or grasp what it meant until until I until it sat in. I was like, "Holy crap! This is uh, the main person, the main person in this story in this world is Dario Cueto, 
and to be his brother is amazing. So, like, as it kind of started playing out, I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. And the good thing about him and the cool thing is that he's not really a, you know, quote-unquote wrestling personality per se. He's more of an actor in, in the wrestling world, which is kind of good, and it kind of shows that, you know, he's not just a guy playing, you know, like in wrestling sometimes some of the guys aren't great actors per se. So is it kind of cool mm-hmm. to have him involved, seeing that he is an experienced and good actor? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, when we filmed a bunch of those uh, those uh, the vignettes, the backstage vignettes, and um, seeing him in his element, where I'm used to him being in my element when we're filming for the ring, uh, to have the roles reverse and have his have his uh, expertise, I guess, if you will, like saying, hey, try it this way or be, you know, face me and all that kind of stuff. It's it's so cool. And like he, like you mentioned, he is really good at what he does. Definitely, definitely top-notch actor right there. He's an awesome character. Matanza is an awesome character. He's playing off each other greatly. And the cool thing is that all throughout season one, it was basically building up to, you know, Dario releasing the monster, releasing his brother. Is that a lot of pressure on you, kind of, when when they're like, well, you know, not only, like you said, for, like, your main character, but they're putting, a, you know, a lot of steak and a lot of, you know, a lot of the eggs in your basket? You, you know, like, the, I mean, I think it's any time anybody builds something up that much, uh, there's definitely a lot of pressure. There was definitely a lot of pressure. I felt um, that the, the night it debuted at the at the uh, Aztec Warfare and I was very nervous going through that and thank goodness for guys like Chavo and, and Rey Mysterio who are in the match that are super professionals and super and super experienced and then you know they kind of help you out through the way and you know especially Chavo like he was telling me to calm down relax breathe and whatnot and I was as I'm like getting blown up because I'm super excited so, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was such an awesome experience. And winning the title basically, you know, in your debut or, you know, being the world champ so early on in your run, it's almost like not only is the pressure like mounting, it's like they gave you the ball. Now you got to run with it. Right. But yeah. I mean, I think because Dario was so over and he was such a huge part for the show and the company, that I was elevated guilty by association kind of, and especially on the first night winning, you know, going through, I think it was like nine, nine guys to get that belt, to get the championship, you know, it, it kind of just elevated that person or character right off the bat. And it was, it was such a, it was a cool feeling. And, you know, it, like if, and WWE used to do it really well too, where they build up, certain characters and certain characters and whatnot. And and then I think they kind of got away from that. And so to have Lucha Underground do that and invest in a year, or uh, I'm sorry, not like a whole season into the debut of one character, or a season and a half, I guess, it's, you know, they did it right. And that's, that's how debut should be, you know. <laughs> 